It's an issue we're continuing to follow. Shrimp trawling. Hundreds gathered today at the Newburn Convention Center for a public hearing on a petition filed by an NC wildlife group. It seeks to add regulations on the shrimping industry. WNCT's Elizabeth Tu attended the public session and has more. You can see the dozens of shrimp trawlers behind me that traveled up and down our coast in order to get to downtown Newburn today in order to attend this public information session. Shrimping has been in Jane Whitley's family for over 40 years. This trawler is even named after her. It's endless what this industry does for the economy. Her family trawls in the Pamlico Sound during the summer and fall. However, the NC Wildlife Federation's proposed regulations would close the sound off to trawling. Um, but the main thing here is we have a thriving industry who supports North Carolina. So we most definitely do not want to see the sound closed. The Federation filed a petition in November to add regulations on shrimpers. It includes limiting tow times to 45 minutes, trawling to three days per week, and head rope length to 90 feet, making nets smaller. First and foremost, we are not trying to ban shrimp trawling in North Carolina. We are trying to protect what we believe are juvenile nursery areas, juvenile fish nursery areas in North Carolina. And to do that, you have to restrict some some of the trawling that's going on in these waters. Other proposed regulations requiring 60 count shrimp in the Pamlico Sound before trawling could begin and designating the sound as nursery waters. Hundreds gathered at the Newburn Convention Center as five advisory groups questioned the Federation about the necessity of the regulations. To them, this is not just the future of shrimping in North Carolina, it's at stake here, but the future of commercial fishing as we know it. The Federation points out three species of fish are already depleted in North Carolina waters due to excessive bycatch. Um, the fisherman has already made many sacrifices, you know, to support the other side, and I think it's time that the other side begin to support, you know, the working man. The NC Division of Marine Fisheries will make a final decision on that petition at their February meeting. In downtown New Bern, Elizabeth II, night on your side. Before the shrimpers made their way inside, dozens started in the waterways, all in a show of solidarity against the petition. Dozens of trawlers came from Pamlico, Brunswick, and Carteret counties, just to name a few, traveling for miles to make the statement the petition will harm their livelihoods.